Hi, my name is Judgment. I'm part of the Zelux community. This is going to be a very basic tutorial on how to play Misen HD packs for the NES. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, go into the description of this YouTube video. And then uh, this is going to flip flips right here. It's going to help you uh, patch ROMs if you don't have it already. So download that. You're going to want to get the Misen emulator. Because as of right now, uh, these HD packs can only be played on Misen emulator. It can also be played on RetroArch uh, with a Misen core. But um, I'm not going to be teaching how to do that today. I'm just going to be using the Misen emulator. Go ahead and do 7-zip if you need to be able to unzip files. And then to find some HD packs, just go ahead and click on this link here to Zeldix. is where I'm going to be posting all of mine. There's also plenty of places online that you can find some more packs, so if you just Google them, you'll be able to find some more things that you can play. Now I have everything downloaded and I put it in a folder. Start by opening up Misen. And then you're going to choose where all your settings in HD, um, HD packs are located at. You can put it in User Profile, but I'll put it right here in Documents. You'll find Misen 2 and it'll be right here. Or you can have it be right here in the same folder that you just opened up if you do this one right here. I personally like to put it in documents so I don't ever lose where it's at and it never has trouble finding the folder because if you move folders around I've had it make mistakes before but for the sake of this tutorial let's just ha have it upload in the same folder. Um, and then go ahead and just choose which uh, keyboard uh, or what inputs you want to have automatically set and then um, you're going to go ahead and hit confirm. And so I had it set up that on this folder I have on my desktop, it's going to put all the settings in. So I'm going to do new. I'm going to do HD packs like that. And then I'm going to grab my HD pack. An HD pack will look like this. It'll have some audio files and a hires doc. So like this. So music and a higher text file and if you have graphic changes it'll have a giant list of different uh, images put in this too so you're going to do copy and then you're going to go ahead and paste into your H HD packs like that so it'll be HD packs your folder and then all your stuff that's in it it's important that your ROM is called whatever your folder is in HD packs. So my ROM has to be called this. If you want to change it, you can go ahead and rename it if you desire to whatever you want. But the ROM and this have to stay the same. So if you chose the setting that it'll upload from your profile instead of um, the same folder that your uh, Misen is in, then instead of having uh, HD packs right here, then you're going to open up document find this right here and then you'll do meet um, HD packs right here so this is for if you set up the other setting you'll want to do it right here in documents Mison 2 HD packs but I didn't set it up for that for this tutorial so we are going to go back to this right here this folder we're going to go ahead and patch a ROM so open up flips do apply patch find your patch and click open and find your ROM Click open and then go ahead and name it to what you want. You're going to need to name it uh, based on this right here, your your uh, packs folder. Click save. There you go. And we're going to open up. I'm going to grab my ROM and you can stick your ROM wherever you want. You can stick your ROM here, you can stick your ROM here. So unlike in um, MSU1 where you have to have the ROM in the same folder as your music, you do not need to do that for this. However though, once again, you need to have the, this name of the ROM be the exact same as the name as the folder in the HD packs and you're ready to play. So let's go ahead and open it. Sounding good to me. Now, a few things to consider before you start. There is that beginning area, or that beginning setting where you can automatically set up hot uh, input keys. So go ahead and go to input and do setup. And just make sure you check all four of these because if you have things set up on uh, multiple of these and it's the same button, it'll actually do it at the same time. For example, if I have button two, I go right here and do button two 
Um, now when I push the button, it will actually do both at the same time. So you're going to want to clear that. So just make sure you don't have multiple button mappings because I had that problem when I first uh, got on and I couldn't figure out why the controls were not working right. So that's just something to kind of set up. And if it's not playing music correctly, go ahead and go to preferences and check your, your folder. So do folder files right here and make sure this matches where you're actually uploading your HD packs. So right now I have it on my uh, desktop. Uh, I have a folder called M uh, Mason HD. So here's Mason HD and it's uploading it from right here. So um, you can also change it right here if you want to change the, the beginning setting that, that you saw where it's user profile or where your application's at. So just uh, kind of keep that in mind.